and welcome to our journey into the world of artificial intelligence. Now I know what you're thinking, AI sounds like rocket science, but today I'm gonna break it down in a way that's easy to understand. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back and let's dive in. And no, you won't need a PhD in computer science for this. So what is artificial intelligence? Well, imagine that your computer could think, learn and make decisions just like a human. That's what artificial intelligence is, a computer's brain. It's like your laptop suddenly decided to take up philosophy and ponder the meaning of life. Now, not all AI are created equal. Some, like Siri or Alexa, are specialists. They can do some things really well, but they can't do everything. That's called narrow AI. It's like a professional baker who makes the best cakes, but he's a terrible mechanic. Then there are AIs that can do everything a human can do. That's called general AI. Imagine a computer that could write a novel, compose a symphony, and even beat you at chess, maybe even all at the same time. And then there's super intelligent AI, which is like a computer that's smarter than the smartest human. Could you imagine your laptop solving unsolved mathematical problems for fun just to show off? So how does AI learn? Well, it's a lot like how you learn to ride a bike. You tried, you fell, you tried again, and over time, you learned. That's how AI learns too, through something called machine learning. Imagine your computer playing a video game over and over, learning from each mistake until it could beat the game every time. You might not realize it, but AI is like a helpful assistant. It's there when you search on Google, helping you find the best recipes. It suggests what to watch next on Netflix because it knows you love a good thriller. And it even helps navigate your car, making sure you never miss that turn to your favorite restaurant. It's a personal assistant who never sleeps, never eats, and never takes a vacation. And best of all, it doesn't judge you for watching that guilty pleasure reality show. Now let's talk about a special kind of AI, chatbots. They're like digital conversationalists. Instead of moving or playing games, they chat. One of the smartest chatbots is called ChatGPT. It's that special friend who always has something interesting to say, never interrupts you, and never gossips about you behind your back. And let's be honest, we could all use a friend like that. ChatGPT is also like a super smart friend. You say something to it and it doesn't just repeat what you said, it comes up with its own responses. Imagine one of your friends suddenly giving you advice on quantum physics or telling you fascinating stories about ancient Rome. And yes, it's okay to be a little intimidated. We all have that one friend who knows a little too much about everything, don't we? And AI isn't just about chatting or playing games, it's also revolutionizing the business world. It's that super efficient employee who can analyze data, predict trends, and even interact with customers. Or when your office suddenly got an upgrade from a regular coffee machine to a high-tech espresso maker that knows exactly how you like your coffee. AI is also driving innovation in fields like healthcare, where it's used for disease detection and drug discovery, and in environmental science, where it's used for climate modeling and conservation efforts. And then let's not forget about AI in the arts. AI is now creating art, music, and even writing scripts for movies and TV shows. Have you heard of Dolly, Mid Journey, or Stable Diffusion? They're AI artists that create stunning pieces of art. In fact, all of the visuals in this video were created using Mid Journey. And the voice is actually not me, it's an AI recreation of my voice using Eleven Labs. And no, this video is not sponsored by Eleven Labs. But if they want to partner in the future, I'd be open to it. Now let's talk about artificial general intelligence. That's AI that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks. Imagine your computer suddenly developing the ability to not just play chess, but also cook a gourmet meal, write a novel, and even do your taxes on its own. Yes, very scary, but again, it will require human oversight. Now, you might be wondering, if AI can do everything, what will humans do? Well, don't worry, the invention of cars didn't make horses disappear. They just have more free time. So AI won't make humans obsolete. Instead, it will create new jobs that we can't even imagine yet. So who knows? Maybe you'll be the first AI ethicist or the first AI human collaboration consultant. And yes, those are real jobs, I think. So what's next for AI? Well, the sky's the limit. Now, maybe we'll have AI teachers who can personalize your learning experience or AI doctors who can diagnose illnesses and suggest treatments, or maybe even AI filmmakers who can create and edit videos in seconds. And who knows, maybe one day we'll even have AI companions that can talk, play, and learn with us. It's kind of like living in a sci-fi movie, but without the scary robots, unless you're into that sort of thing. And that's AI in a nutshell, computer brains that can learn and do amazing things. Remember, the world is full of wonders and AI is just one of them. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep learning. 
Because who knows, maybe one day you'll be teaching an AI something new.